everyone, I'm Caroline from carolinehirons.com and I'm going to talk to you today very briefly about ways you can help your skin through nutrition. Top five tips. Number one, cut out sugar. Sugar has to go, it's non-negotiable. If you are someone who loves alcohol or chocolate or sweets or it's in everything, it's in sauces, it's in salad dressings, fizzy drinks, everywhere read labels get label savvy try and go cold turkey if you can but your body and your skin especially will thank you for it eating too much sugar leads to glycation which is the breakdown of your collagen so if you're someone who is say under 30 and you regularly eat a lot of sweets and a lot of chocolate you might think your skin is perfectly fine now but it will catch up with you and you'll get to be in your 50s and 60s and everything will be slightly baggier than it should be. Sugar leads to inflammation. Inflammation is the number one cause of all the mess that goes on on your skin and in your system. Cut it out. Try and do it today. Go cold turkey. Your body and your skin will thank you for it. Number two, eat real food. It's all too easy these days. Everything is ready made. It's really easy to go into a supermarket and pick up a ready made meal, take it home, pierce the film, and put it in a microwave. That's not cooking, that's reheating. Eat real food. Buy your products from the outer rim of the supermarket because everything in the middle is packaged. So do fruit and veg. You can do the frozen section for fish and chicken and things like that. Avoid the middle where everything is packaged. Real food contains good nutrients. Microwaving them kills them off. It's really simple, really easy. Everyone has a bad day or you're doing a double shift or you're exhausted and you're not feeling well that obviously you do what you have to do to get by but in general try and cook from scratch as often as you can number three add good fat to your diet so things like avocados and nuts what you don't want to do is go down the whole thing of thinking of a low fat diet must be good for you a low fat diet has been proven to be not the way forward low fat products are usually really high in chemicals and sugar and they try and replicate the loss of taste with something sweet good fats and healthy fats are what your system needs and in some cases craves so for example in the morning instead of getting up and having a really sugary cereal with milk you could have poached egg on toast with a side of avocado or avocado on whole grain toast make better choices and it's really easy to do change one thing at a time don't go crazy just change one thing at a time number four eat food with color so in celebration of that we could say that we would eat something that looked like this which is probably wild salmon color eat food with color mother nature did not make many things white in their raw form so breads and pastas and rices that are white we did that mother nature had nothing to do with that blueberries carrots deep dark leafy greens food with real color that comes from nutrients that is what you want to aim for if you're sitting down to a plate with rice or pasta and you have a side of bread you're basically eating sugary carbs that are going to give you a massive spike and then you'll crash and burn and then you'll crave more sugar and then you're back to number one so wherever possible aim to eat food with a lot of color good colorful food contains tons of nutrients they are the way forward it's what you should be eating mother nature did not make anything white and number five drink more water if there's one thing you take away from this drink more water that doesn't mean fizzy drinks and cordials and coffee and tea it just means water water is makes up most of your body mass makes up a lot of your brain you want to keep everything flushed and working the way it's supposed to a dehydrated skin leads to inflammation which can lead to acne and rosacea and eczema and all these other things i'm not saying they're the main it's the main cause of it but it definitely exacerbates it drink water keep your system calm keep the inflammation down by eating less sugar eat more real food do that whole cycle and you will see big results very quickly. I hope it's been helpful. Thanks.